<laughs> Hello, it's David Love calling. Hey, David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hello, Hi, David. Hello, hello, hello. Um, you know, listening to the show tonight, um, it was heartbreaking to listen to uh, the stories. And uh, you're very brave women, and uh, my heart goes out to you. And uh, thank you for coming on the show. I had to agree with the one lady there that um, you really can't ask some of the people who are out to speak out because they are suffering from uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And uh, it's very, very, uh, very difficult for them. They're still going through it. But um, my kudos to all who have spoken out. And uh, congratulations for this show tonight, uh, Deborah. And Al, thank you very much for putting it on. Well, I, I think a lot of this goes to Sate, who gathered our group yes. together. And, um, and David, thank you for putting the press release out and all that you do. I mean, you are just incredible. Uh, ladies, did uh, Sate, uh, let me just start with you first, because I'm not really sure how to juggle this. Um, if you would like to comment, and then everybody else just pipe into the discussion. And if people want to call, if you have unlimited long distance, please call 914 Three three eight zero four five two because for each minute on this toll free line, this comes out of my pocket. Um, so I'm paying every single minute if you're listening on that. But our toll free line, if you do want to call and ask a question, is eight 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 two three eight eight five two nine. And we also have a Skype button up there, so if you have Skype, you can press that and come in too. So hey, Sate, um, I am giving you the floor. I want to thank everybody so much. Your stories are, the fact that you're sharing them is absolutely fabulous. Um, I, I really appreciate it. I myself have been hounded by OSA on and off for many, many years, and um, and they made me mad. And uh, I have some things that I'd like to say if I get a chance right at the end of the show. Um, well, we've and got... I'd like to Tell me how long it'll be so I can juggle it because we've got one more pre-record with. Uh, oh, it's, um, it's very short. It's not even three minutes. Okay, well we'll reserve that then. Or do you want to say it now? Because we've got um, more calls coming in. Oh, let's take the call. Okay, uh, we've got another 408 line, uh, area code 408. Thank you for calling the God Discussion Show. Uh, that could be me. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it is. We hear you. Thank you for calling. Hi, I am Lori Sessman. Hi, you are. Hi, Lori. Hello. Um, <laughs> I am I am calling. Oh, gosh, I'm going to get emotional. I have known Lori for 30 years. And if anyone wants to think she's crazy, they're idiots. She's the most sane person around, and she has been through hell and back. And I am proud of her for standing up to this evil cult that has torn her life apart. And in turn, she has taken me and my kids into her home. And through the last year, we've been there for each other. And Lori is the most loving, caring person after having suffered such cruel stuff. Most people would end up being very hateful, and mm -hmm. she's not. Beth, were you involved in Scientology as well? No, I'm not. I'm a Christian, and um, so I do believe in the afterlife. <laughs> and I and so I was listening to some of that stuff, um, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't force it on anybody. Um, I just live it out. And I'm telling you, boy, Lori is probably uh, even better th at doing that than me. <laughs> well, the thing is, you can hear the kindness in her voice. Yes. And uh, I read her open letter to her children, and that was just one of those things that makes your heart clutch. It was, um, yes. Lori, you really are. You've got uh, all kinds of new fans here. <laughs> yes, I, I have a new family. And now, I mean, I have my old family, but um, all my friends yes. I've met uh, around the world and, and having Beth there and all my good friends have been such a support. Um, you guys really helped me get through this. I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, oh, beautiful. Definitely. Beth, did Definitely. you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I just wanted, I, I told her I would call in because I, this is, is another form of support. So um, we have uh, definitely been there for each other, and, um, you know, she's a strong woman. 
I wanted to uh, say thank you, Beth, because she, um, when my daughter was still here and working at the preschool in um, San Jose near me, um, I asked Beth to go see her because, uh, you know, I wasn't allowed to and bring her some balloons for her birthday. Um, you want to share that story, Beth, real quick? Just a second. I had her muted. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so Lori wanted me to bring balloons for um, Jessica's birthday and to her preschool. And so I went down there, and um, she opened the door up, and I, I had a message to give her from Lori. And I forgot what that message was. Um, it was there was three details to it. I think something about they got a new boat. So, of course, the kids love the lake, and so she wanted them to know that they got a new boat and come go uh, water skiing. And, and, then and their, there uncle was, left the, uh, their uncle, Bob Wright, had just left the Sea Org, and I thought that might wake Jessica up if, uh, if she heard that her uncle, after 30 years, 20 years, has left, remember? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so when Jessica looked at me, she kind of had this um, – she, and I whispered so that she, I would draw her into me. And so she got really close to me, and I was giving her the information, and she was, like, really listening, and she uh, had, like, a normal look on her face. And as soon as something clicked in her, and all of a sudden I saw this, like, a zombie kind of look come about her face. And oh. she said, do I know you? And I, I kind of said, No. <laughs> Um, and all of a sudden, presto, she was like this um, robotic kind of person. And I thought, wow, you know, and I just kind of said, happy birthday, and I walked away. And it just blew me away how instantly it was like, oh, my gosh, I said something. I think it was when I said your Uncle Bobby Wright left the Sea Org or, or Scientology. It, she snapped. And um, and I, I was like, who is this girl? Because it was just a weird weird kind of look in her face and her eyes. And I thought, they are definitely brainwashed. And I thought, you know, it's, it, we need to, we, it's our job out here to get them out. It is. Thank you so much for sharing that, Beth. Um, the, the kind of zombie look was kind of enlightening, but hopefully these kids will recognize and get out. Now, ladies that are still on the phone, you just jump in at any point here. And um, if you can't say your first name, just because it's hard to tell who's who on here. But we do have several more callers coming in. This one is a 520 area code. Uh, 520, thank you very much for calling the God Discussion Show with uh, what I've called the X-Women. Hi, X women. This is Hello. Jane. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to say that um, I just happened to have found your show from a link on WWP, and um, I'm just so. I feel as if this is the first time I've heard from people uh, that tell such, um, gosh, such heartfelt life stories. And I'm very, um, it sort of is inspiring to me, and it restores my faith in humanity to see how compassionate and supportive you are to all, to each other. And I'm so very proud of you for that. And um, so I'm just honored to uh, even just quietly listen in on your uh, conversation right now. So I just wanted to thank you, and I'll step aside and let you continue. Thank well, you. Thank You're you. Very welcome. Thank you. Ladies, do you have any Get to that, anyone want to pipe in? Uh, yes. Uh, WWP stands for Why We Protest, and that is the anonymous website that's done so much to explode all the truthful information about Scientology onto the web. Huge protests around the world. They work behind the scenes. They help do all kinds of things for all of the critics. They're just an awesome, awesome group. They really are. Um, uh, uh, Nancy, did you want to add anything more to what you just heard there from Jane? Well, I, the thing that, that I most want to say, and especially to the people over at WWP, is uh, the role that Anonymous has played in all this is, is sometimes forgotten because it was so many years ago. And I remember when they first began and they came on with a bang, just to give you some background, um, Anonymous is just a group of people. They had nothing to do with Scientology. They're just computer 
kind of geeks, really, and um, they discovered that Scientology was preventing free speech. So they just said, you know what, that's not going to happen here. We're on the Internet, not going to happen. And they just kept making things bigger and bigger, and every time Scientology would try and stop Anonymous, more things would come out. We used to call them foot bullets. Well, they started a protest, and I remember talking to one of the gentlemen that was involved in setting it up, and it was, just put it out there. And at 3 p.m. on Saturday, every Saturday in the world, around the world, Anonymous will meet at the local Scientology organizations and do a protest. And it started in Australia, and it just went as the time zone changed. And it was, it became this incredible, massive international outpouring of people protesting Scientology. And I remember back around that time there were four of us with, with books that are later out. And I think every one of us really, really, really gave credit to Anonymous because that group of strangers, thousands of them from around the world, made at least me feel like they weren't even in and they're risking everything to protest the abuses, and I know of the abuses, and how come I am afraid? So they did a lot, a lot of work to lessen the fear, which has now allowed over 2,000 people have individually portrayed and gone public with their stories. I mean, you've, you've listened to the women here tonight, but there are thousands more. And it did start to a large degree with the safety net that Anonymous gave us. And I just want to really acknowledge them for that. I join you in that very much, Nancy. They, uh, Anonymous was responsible really for getting, um, oh gosh, now I can't remember, the, the woman with Rolling Stone that wrote Inside Janet, Janet Reitman. Reitman. Janet yes. Reitman. They, uh, they were the ones who got her on our show. And um, they have been just wonderful. I cannot speak highly. Uh, one of my friends there with them, Damien Smith, I've seen him in the chat room. And um, they, they are good people, very good it's people. Great, they're great people. And, and what they did and what they continue to do is just continuing to create ripples. And this show is one of those big ripples. And I think a lot has been said so far tonight that has been repeated. That's the thing, me listening back with everybody else's stories, the – the nightmares, I still get the nightmares, um, the post-traumatic other things that come with it besides the nightmares, the, the, the abuse that just you keep on digging it up. It, just, it, it was so intense and so multilayered. Um, the cadet org, I mean, you, you see repeated themes here from women, different time periods within the organization and different places around the world, yet the story has the same threats of horrific abuse. Deborah, this is Claire. If I could add to that as mm -hmm. well. Please do. Thank um, you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I absolutely agree in regards to Anonymous. There, there are two. Um, my husband Mark had started talking out in 2006, and I, I knew it was important for him to do that. On, the, on a personal level, I was scared out of my mind. And I couldn't, you know, I personally was not ready. <laughs> and the, the, there's two factors that changed that for me personally. One was 